2023 Cervelo S5 in a size 54, weighing right in around 18 pounds. And in kilos, we're right at 8.9 kilos. Stay tuned to the after video where you're free to buy some. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And man, it's been a long time since I've done any bike reviews. It's starting to become 2023 again, so we can see these new models. I'll be able to get my hands on these bikes, and hopefully we can talk about it. But this is the bike that everyone has been talking about. This is the 2023 Cervelo S5. This is the Altegra model. This thing retails for about $9,000. Uh, and then you guys just saw the weight on it. It's about 18 pounds. This is the refreshed version uh, that they're riding in the Tour de France. They won the yellow jersey, they won the green jersey. And uh, we're gonna talk about what the differences are in this bike, what they did to the wheels. They, uh, they change it or they refresh it to make it more, uh, to make it uh, along the lines of the new UCI rules. So they were able to utilize the rules to make this bike more aerodynamic than what it was and also they made it uh, more efficient in that matter. So without further ado, we'll go over all the differences and then we'll talk about what comes on this bike. So starting off, as we can see from the refresh from the old 2021 model, um, the head tube right here, they deepened this arrow uh, property to make this bike a little bit more aerodynamic. So they took the whole head tube angle or the whole head tube itself and just lengthened it to utilize more aerodynamic benefits. So the older model was a little bit more shallower because it had to meet the requirements of the UCI rule. Now this is a little bit more of a deeper uh, head tube, which allowed for better aerodynamics. And they did the same for the bottom bracket area as well. They stretched out this area, added more carbon to it to make it more aerodynamic. You can also see on the rear stays, on the seat stay right here, uh, they elongated these more and made them a little bit deeper to give it more aerodynamic as well. And now this model, now the refresh is only um, electronic compatible. There's no more mechanical to be run this bike. So they make the dropouts a little bit cleaner and just made the bike overall aesthetically more pleasing. Um, also with the bike, they upped the tire clearance that can go on here. Uh, they made it so it can take a 34 uh, C tire, which is really, really wide. Not only is it's not really to put a 34 C tire on here, but when you widen the forks, they make the whole bike overall more aerodynamic as well. So you have the option to put a 34 C tire on there if you want, but the, the benefit to making a wider bike or a wider stance bike as well is to just add the aerodynamics to it. Also on the seat posts, uh, if you guys saw my videos on my tarmac a little bit ago, I put from the, the normal 20 degree setback seat post to a zero degree setback seat post. And um, you're seeing more and more companies start to realize that that was a, a more extreme fitting and they're going more and more straightforward. So on the old Cervelo S5, it was a negative 25 degree setback. Now all stock bikes will come with a 15 degree setback on here as well. They will still offer the 25 degree setback seat post later on down the road. But what the benefit of this is, is that with a 15 degree seat post, you're gonna be a little bit more over the cranks when riding, which will enable you to drive power better and push back power. So when you're over the cranks, you can get more over the pedal stroke and allow you to put out the best power that you can on the bike as well. Um, also with the V-shape, the integrated handlebar and stem up here, not crazy amount of differences or changes for the consumer, but they change this up to make this a little bit better angles for easier routing for the mechanics and also for this whole system right here as well they removed a lot of the proprietary pieces in there they only made one bolt now so they actually saved i think it was like 53 grams over the whole system just to make it better for the consumer as well to drop some weight on this bike it is 18 pounds yes but you have really deep dish wheels you have really wide tires in here as well and it is an aero bike this is meant to be an aerodynamic bike that's why you saw this bike i mean well obviously the riders but that's why you saw this bike dominate a lot on those flat stages because it has a lot of good properties of this aerodynamic bike. Um, the wheels as well. These are new upgraded wheels for this year. These are the Reserve uh, 5263. 52 millimeters being at the front of the wheel, it's a 52 millimeter depth. And then 63 being the rear, you're seeing a lot more companies do this with a stagger wheel set. Uh, benefit to being a shallower depth in the front, you get a little bit better handling in the front, so less crosswinds. And then 63 in the rear, you get that deeper dish to have the more carbon, which will make it more aerodynamic as well. Um, they made that rim overall wider as well. So the rim track, so it, uh, the, it will accommodate a wide, wider tire. So this bike will come stock with, with a Vittoria Corsa 700 by 28 C tire. And uh, they are tubeless ready, but they wanted to make this bike be fitting. And you can see how well this tire lines up with this 28 C on there. You can see it pretty much lines up with this rim very well. So it's a very nice wide rim track. Also with these wheels, they do come stock with a zip hub from factory. So this is a zip hub and that is a zip hub in the rear as well. Um, but yeah, those are the main overall features of this bike. You can definitely see it side by side when you have this generation compared to the old generation, what the differences are, uh, mainly in the head tube angle or the head tube area. 
it definitely looks a lot more wider and you're seeing more and more of these bikes like the Trek Madone, like the Cervelo S5, uh, utilize these UCI rules and make these bikes more aerodynamic. So hopefully we'll see some other bikes in the future get some, uh, some refreshes as well. I really like what Cervelo did there where they just kind of, they didn't take the whole bike and just scrap it. They just say, hey, hey we have a great bike. It's doing really well, excuse me. Let's go ahead and just make this thing a little bit better and utilize what they're allowing us to use. So very cool on their part. But without further ado, let's get into this bike that you can buy. This is again, the Cervelo S5 with the Altega version. They also make this in a force axis version. They're both retail for $9,000. Uh, this bike is a 54 and weighs 18 pounds. They make it in the all black color and then they make it in like this, like I think they call it like a, a glacier color where it's a bluish purple. And then the front fork is white, which looks really hot. I wish I had that color here, but we don't right now. Um, but it's a really, really good deal. Uh, a great refresh bike for $9,000 if you're looking for a competitive all around fast group ride, race bike, whatever you want to do, you want to stay competitive with your friends or whatever, and you enjoy this sport and this is what you enjoy spending your money on, this is a really good bang for your buck uh, dollar bike. So starting off with the handlebars, we got the integrated Cervelo S5 handlebar and stem combo with the V shape right here. looks like a fighter jet. Uh, looks like a very, very clean cockpit, no cables showing, cables are ran through the handlebar down the stem, all that good stuff. We do have options for proprietary mounting here for Garmin's, for, uh, GoPros for lights, whatever you want to do, they have the option there as well. Uh, this does come with the stock Altegra 12 speed group set, 12 gears in the rear, two in the front. This is a semi wireless uh, shifting system. Uh, there is the shifters are completely wireless with only hydraulic hoses running to the brakes. Then there is wires, DI2 wires for the front derailleur and DI2 wire for the rear derailleur that connects to the battery. Going down to the front wheel, we have the brand new Reserve 52 millimeter depth wheel. It's a full carbon fiber rim with a zip hub. And then they are running on here a Vittoria Corsa 700 by 28 tubeless ready tire. So this bike is a full on, actually, is it tubeless ready? Give me one second. Yeah, I don't even know why I second guess myself. Yes, this is the tubeless ready version. And again, they are specking it with this wide tire in here to make it more comfortable and also more aerodynamic. And again, like I said, you have the wider tire clearance up to a 70, uh, a 34 seat tire. The rotors that come on here are the stock 160 millimeter rotors by Altegra. And then we have the Altegra brake caliber down here as well. Uh, going down to the down tube, we see we have the be beautiful Sorel logo. We have here the option for the bottle cages with probably an option for a tool of some sort. Going to the crank, we have on here the Altegra uh, crank 5236 uh, uh, subcompact crank set with the Altegra front mech as well up there. We have the Altegra 12 speed chain and then the Altegra cassette in the back 1130 that comes stock in here with the 1130, I'm sorry, with the uh, Shimano Altegra 12 speed rear derailleur. This is your hub, this is your brain, this is your heart of the whole system now. This is where you charge it, this is where you do the function buttons, this is where you pair it for Bluetooth. This is your whole everything. So they did a great job of redesigning this. They had the longer cage to accommodate up to 1134 if you want to put a cassette on here. But the new Altegra, that's why I'm running on my bike, it's literally like Durace, just a little bit heavier. It's a great, great group set. They have the direct mount uh, derailleur hanger cage for the Altegra rear derailleur. And then also, like I said before, you see we have the Cervelo S5 logo right here. We have the spaces up here that we can make this flush if we wanted to. We have an option for another water bottle bolt cage right here. And then they made this whole area a little bit wider and made these uh, these rear stays a little bit more strung out to make it more accommodating. And we can go on to this side and we can see this massive piece of carbon for the bottom bracket where they definitely utilize this for better aerodynamics. The only thing that changed on this bike is that this has a ceramic speed on here because this bike is sold. They will have, I think they have this exact same bike in a 58 in stock which I'll mention the store's name at the end of this video. Um, but this would usually come with just a normal Shimano bottom bracket, I believe, inside there. So keep that in mind. We have the new redesigned seat posts, which is only a 15 degree setback. Uh, this is carbon fiber. This is proprietary. You have your seat wedge here, which is supposed to be a Titan to eight new meters. That does come with a Sella Italia saddle. Nice wide cutout uh, for blood flow. Nice wide support here for your sit bones. Short nose, stubby saddles, very popular in today's world. And then for the rear wheel, we can see here, we have the uh, Reserve 63 carbon fiber wheel, 63 millimeters of depth, and then the same tire in the, rear, in the rear as the front. It's a Victoria Corsa tubeless ready tire. Again, that's a 700 by 28 C. And the rear wheel can also accept that 34 C spacing of that tire. You can see how much tire clearance that thing has back there. There's a lot of distance or clearance that you can get on these bikes, which is really nice. Uh, cassette, like I mentioned, is 1130. We can see here we have a zip hub, which I'll do a free abyss on test in the end. And then also for the rotors, it's a 160 millimeter in the rear. And uh, it's not stocked with the 140, it comes stocked with a 160. And you have that little brake caliper adapter right there to allow it to have that 160 on there. But overall, 
one of the most popular bikes out there right now, one of the most talked about bikes after the Tour de France. Um, it had a dominating performance. It won a lot of stages. It was on the camera a lot of times. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be talking about this. And like I said, I mentioned before, I liked what Sorella did with just a simple refresh. You don't need to change the whole thing. You don't need to put a lot of time into marketing and everything like that. They had a great bike and they just did a little refresh for the launch on there. And I think it came out really good. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys are interested in this bike, Tune Cycles does have these bikes in stock. I think they have a 58 and have more on the way. I'll leave their uh, store information down below in the contact, just tell them, tell them that I sent you and uh, they can help you get the bike that you want in, in your hands. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. All right, here comes a Freo body sound test on this new Reserve 63 rear wheel with a zip Freo body. Let me put the phone down real quick. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.